Mmm. Good morning from sunny Manchester. There's honestly, there's not a cloud in the sky this morning in Manchester. It's Monday after a great pop-up. We're gonna probably train, if I if I dare say, one of my favorite fitness people, probably top three fitness inspirations on the planet. Mr. Ryan Terry. Ryan, uh, Ryan and I go way back. We've actually never competed against each other, but I've always been a fan of Ryan, his physique. Back in the day, uh, I think there's a video where I'm a pro and I'm showing him how to pose. And uh, it's just, we, we go way back and, and honestly, I, I cannot wait for him to step on stage at the Olympia this year. He's about, he's nine weeks out. He's looking great already. So we're gonna come in here today. We're gonna train shoulders here. We're at Frontline Fit Performance. That's where we're at today. So we're gonna get in there. Um, I'm a little dehydrated. Long weekend standing on your feet. So we're gonna get in there, sweat, shoulders, just get an awesome pump with one of, honestly, not just my favorite physique competitors, men's physique competitors, one of my favorite people in the fitness industry. Such a great guy. You guys are gonna go, you probably already know who he is. If not, subscribe to his channel. We're gonna be filming on his as well. One of my favorite warm-ups that I used to do back in the day in high school. Five presses, five upright rows, five power cleans, five shrugs. That's gonna be our warm-up. We got shoulders today. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, feels good. Ryan's first time in a rack. How'd you do that? I remember my first time in Iraq too. Front row, power clean, press, and then shrug. Jump in. What do you want to do first? Just some full of press. And some dumbbells? Yeah, why not? Okay. How'd that feel, Ryan? Is that yeah, something good. different? Yeah, so that's something I don't normally do anything like clean and press. So that's why I was asking Steve about his grip. Um, because I, I typically have my thumb over, uh, a bit more relaxed grip. But with that sort of exercise, you can't. You need to hold the bar a lot more. So yeah, it was nice. Definitely warm on all three parts of the head. Arnold press or we do Scott's press? Scott press is like, you stop here. Arnold, you come up here. Scott press would be like, just here, like here. The biggest thing on a Scott press is like, you're, you're finishing out here. So maybe, and you think maybe you're, uh, Let's try yeah, I was gonna say, maybe the Scott press is more of like the one that would hurt you actually. You finish it like behind. Uh, seated. Okay. So, we're we jumping in to an Arnold press. Arnold press, we're literally gonna be supinated to the point where we're touching, coming up, and as we come up, really we're forcing the shoulders wide. I don't wanna just go here. We're forcing the shoulders wide, finishing above your head, pinkies higher. So we got 10 to 12 reps. Um, we're gonna do four sets, not including that warm up. 
Um, so we did one warm up, one working set. We're now into our second working set. We want to have a kid that's super athletic. Get him in for those, oh, athletic but aesthetic too. Yeah. Swimming develops a big back. Look at this guy's back. Look at this guy's back right now. It's a great back. That's from swimming. Well, I'm, I think it's a, the basis of a good back. And then gymnastics, obviously, a lot of shoulders, a lot of core. A lot of core, yeah. He definitely has that. And then football. Okay, legs. Yeah? You got good legs. <laughs> so you want to go... So we'll go four or five working sets. Ten to twelve. This one? Is that what you've been doing? Go it, and then we can do more volume on the next okay. exercise. versus here, yeah. it's just like you said, controlling the weight, having to yeah. stabilize those little muscles. Yeah. From the play. I think for me though, I've always been scared of doing arm pressing because that like, rotates with gotcha. So many people get injured from it. Gotcha. So it's always scared me, but as long as you're doing it nice and controlled, good movement. Yeah. I very rarely do anything these days that I feel like I'm just jerking and throwing weight up. I'm more like subscribed to I think like the old like Frank Zane style training now, which is a lot less hard on your joints. Yeah. Frank Zane never really went super heavy. Yeah, and I think for me, me and Ross was talking about this yesterday. I come in and however I'm feeling on the days, that's yeah. how I'll train. So yeah. if I'm feeling strong, I'll increase the weight. Yeah. If I'm not, I'll be sensible and listen that I'm not gonna get injured, so I'll do more volume, super sensible. Yeah, like more instinctive training. Yeah, very sporadic. And you've been, I mean, you've been training though know, for 15, 16 years. Yeah. You can do that when when you know your body as well as Ryan knows his. So talk, walk me through this one. So we're gonna do a dumbbell ascending set. We're gonna get three dumbbells. Yep. We're gonna go for 15, 12, 10 reps. Okay. So we're gonna increase the uh, weight, decrease. 15, 12, 10. Yeah. It's a and lot then, of volume. And then we're gonna go into partial, so eight reps, heavy weight, keeping the weight from the body. So the nice. dumbbells not have to push your waist. Keeping your traps down, pushing them in your side belt. So is that with the last weight that we're doing? Yeah. So 15, 12, 10, and then with that last weight of, and then eight. And then eight. Okay. All right, I'm gonna follow you here. I'm excited for this. I need, I need more of that side delt. I need more of that lateral. So this is, this is gonna be a good one. Look at, look at Ryan here. Stand up. Woo! Got some great shoulders. It's gonna be torture. I like this. This is gonna, this is gonna burn just a little bit.
that. Just you know, violent swinging. It was just enough momentum to start it, and then you're finishing it out there. as he's training because you know he's going to that place mentally that you need to, to you know you need to put it up another gear okay that a boy come on that a boy yeah you know he's that then i love that <laughs> I love it. it's almost like you gotta dig deeper when you gotta dig deeper you gotta do some shit you gotta you gotta find your reason why why are you training like this that'll give you goosebumps it's giving me goosebumps right now let's go let's go If you can go to a place that just demands your body, it's obviously what's happening there. It's a physiological reaction to what's going on. Your body, you are fight or flight. Ryan is literally inducing this state of like, blood is being rushed to extremities, and you can see it. It's, it's just, I mean, you can physically see it. So, last set here, I'm getting hammered. Come on. Yes, sir. boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, come on. Funny set. Come on. Good. Good. There we go. Nice. 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 Good. Come on. Give us a hold. Give us a hold. Good man. My shoulders hurt just watching that. Exercise. It's done me in like that. That was good. And it's, you wouldn't think such a small muscle group right there, but definitely burns. Next up, we're using this is a nice bench for a, a rear delt movement. So we're gonna be doing dumbbell with a, a rear delt fly, making sure we're leaning the chest over, coming straight out. Oh, <laughs> shoulders are already sore. It's pretty good. And we're supersetting it with a little shrug. Ryan's gonna show us a shrug right here. Just gotta search for the heaviest weight we have in here.
is uh, an exercise I learned off Nathan from uh, Australia. And this is either a good starter or finisher. So a pre-exhaustion or a great finisher on a shoulder workout. So effectively, it's a six-way raise. I'm gonna do a side lateral raise, to a front, up, raise up, back down. That's a six-way raise. So we're gonna keep our core tight the whole time. And that's what people don't take into account. It's all about keeping your core tight, it's strong. Using just your shoulders. Using just your shoulders. So pretty much, into the movement and then back out the same way you came into it, just reverse. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be. I'm yeah. still sore from that damn Ninja Warrior day. I've got to admit, I normally do this at the start of the session, so this could oh, be wow. uh, go drastic. You normally do five. I normally do eight. Okay, so we're gonna we'll go a bit less. Okay. Yeah. prison push-up so it's a push-up so we're hitting some, some some front delt obviously triceps and chest pop up to a reverse jumping jack we start at one and we work our way up to ten same type movements here hitting the shoulder hitting an anterior delt hitting the side delt this is just uh staying in it Oh my god. 
scream when I hit it with the sweet thing. Do my thing, no one to not do speaking. Get my shot pointed out like Ruth, man. I'm a witness, bitch, and I got a moose sway. I'm not sure they're working like that. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Shut off a little farmer carry on a Monday, Monday morning. Monday morning yeah. after a gym shark event. That's how you start the week off right. I'll tell you, that was pretty good. One of these days I'm going to have to come up to where you live. Yes. And have like the full, the full experience. Definitely. Ryan Terry, see the house, the dog. It's more than welcome. I'm going to say, obviously, anyone wants to come back to Utah as well. So oh, we're, we're definitely going to make that soon. happen in fitness culture again. So you're nine weeks out right now. Yeah, yeah. You were nice. telling me kind of about the, the process. You've had obviously a lot going on right now. How do you feel this year with everything? I know there's a lot of people out there saying, and Ryan's been through a lot. Are you, I feel yeah. like this is your best physique. You think? Yeah, I feel like you're just, you're thicker. Like you got a yeah. lot more dimension to you. Yeah, it's mixed emotion to me because obviously I am a bit fuller at this stage. Um, it was weird because obviously having six months away from the gym, that mentally was quite hard for me. Yeah. Uh, I lost a lot of weight. So it was kind of, this, the last Latter part this year has been about trying to uh, to catch up, trying to get right. back the weight back on and stuff. So a lot of people have said that I should have probably had a year out and come back next year. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm a competitor, yeah. and obviously being qualified for the biggest show in the world in India and not doing it would kill me. It'd be hard to sit on the sidelines. Yeah, I think when I found out that it was going to be on the main stage this year, obviously. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were getting Jeez. credit this year, so I thought I don't want to be to miss that. Like, yeah. Just okay. but obviously, I've got to get in the top five. To be on that stage, it's only the finals, but I have a feeling you're I really hope so. Thank you. So it's been a rough, a roller coaster of year. I wouldn't say rough year, a roller coaster. Well, and that's the thing. There's so many people out there. I, I get messages, and I'm sure you get tons of messages asking, like, you know, with my lower back, like, how do you deal around that? You, you've obviously dealt with on a much bigger scale, having to stay away from the gym as long as you did. What do you tell yeah. people now that come to you and say, "Hey, I'm dealing with this injury"? What do you tell people? I would say, listen to your body. Definitely, 100. Yeah. percent I, I try to rush back too soon, hence the second operation a few months later. Um, I would listen to the body when now that I'm training I have to be very sensible in how I'm training yeah. so I can still really push myself I just have to let the male ego go when I came into the gym. Uh, like farmer carries. Uh, like farmer carries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like them. Um, but no, it's just being sensible and working within myself. Because yeah. at the end of the day, it's that mind to muscle connection rather than just max weight. So right. That's how I train now. Um, but it's amazing. You're, you're training. I can see it. I can see that, you know, even after, how many Olympias now have you done? Four. This will be my fifth. I, I can, you know, if, like like me, when I when I left competing, I knew it was like, I, I, I didn't have that passion for it. Seeing you today in there, getting those goosebumps, man, it's inspiring and I also think it shows that if anything like you're in a good place mentally because you're able to put everything into your training yeah you know you do a good yeah. job you're not on your phone you come in and you're here to I, I've got to admit I'm, I'm a bit old school when it comes to that I'm learning yeah. obviously I'm trying to get content because a lot of you guys are, are asking that they want to see me yeah. train more they want to see yeah. more I've, I've been brought up in a, in a way like an old school body in yeah. a way where we weren't allowed to in the gym we don't speak or talk or gym. it was literally balls to the wall you rest while you're spotting your, your yeah. partner and obviously that isn't the way of the world anymore it's really. hard to, to balance the yeah. social media aspect yes because i think on one hand we have some gym shark you know, the younger guys david yeah, you know yeah. i think his workouts are more he's, he's you know he's super strong and obviously he looks amazing but every workout is okay hey where's the good lighting at we're going to shoot here yes you know yeah. you're you're here to, to, to work school. first and then yeah the social media second and i think we, we talked on it earlier where for me it's my, my training is very sporadic it's how i feel on the day yeah and for me it's just literally keeping the enjoyment there so there's no method to it there's no structure it's literally like i would say balls to the wall yeah leave nothing left and like we've done today was good yeah we, we hit our peak and then we start to drop over again to be fair i feel like that was the best training session i've had in a while in terms of like i was into it i was feeling yeah, yeah. it so cool. i think that was probably because of you so thank you i appreciate that thank, thank you thank you thank you guys all right you guys for watching on my channel go check out ryan's and we're going to just link it in here um he's going to be putting up videos throughout this entire prep so go check him out, support him on his journey, and if I if I can be in Vegas that weekend, we'll come down and, and support you, man, because uh, I, I really, we're crossing our fingers, I feel like Ryan is just, it, if it was up to me, he'd, be, he'd have already been Mr. Olympia. Thank you. Um, so hopefully the judges feel that way too. Fingers crossed, guys. Do you want to do one for yours too? No. No. <laughs> Did you get that? Because that was quite a good one. All right. Yeah, yeah, sure. Fair enough. Take it. <laughs> no, Take it. I appreciate it.
Very good. good. This one mine? This back side. That's mine. <laughs> no, no, definitely don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna say if you need some sleep, yeah. if you do need some power, I'll put it back at the next hotel. Uh, I'm gonna actually eat. I'm just gonna eat, eat. I enjoyed that. That was good. Thank you guys. Very, 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 very,